And something just buzzed to Indiana Cops. Find out what on The Edge. And greetings, my fellow fringe connoisseurs. I'm Jay Jordan Hawk, and this is On The Edge. Well, just when I thought it was a slow news week, those Hoosiers came through for me in a big way. This story has mostly stayed local, but it also has hit a few national outlets like Coast to Coast with George Norrie. Considering this took place in Evansville, Indiana, trust me, if you have made it on the George Norrie show in Evansville, Indiana, you have hit the big time. So, what happened in Evansville? Well, probably a more obvious question for most of my viewers is, where in God's name is Evansville? Google Maps probably knows. They know everything. Here we go. There's Evansville. So, basically, take all the top-ranked Indiana colleges like Purdue and Notre Dame and then get as far away from them as possible while still being in Indiana, and you have Evansville. I mean, it's all the way on the tip of southern Indiana, bordering northern Kentucky. Heck, let's just call it northern Kentucky. I mean, it really does have that kind of vibe. Oh, wait, I do see Boonville is not that far from it. So, maybe they're not entirely isolated, but still. All right, now that we know where, let's answer the what. What happened in Evansville? Well, two officers from the Evansville Police Department recently noticed a string of lights in the sky. One of the officers, Trendon Demetchi, took out his cell phone and hit record. So, we got a video, and we have his shocked response to what he was witnessing. Take a look, but you might need to dim your lights first. What are those lights? What are those, man? They gotta be. They gotta be drones. Why are they in a line? There's like ten of them. At least it's Kentucky. What are those? That's pretty creepy. Well. Okay, that's pretty edgy. You got lights in the sky, all lined up with no obvious explanation. Certainly the Evansville Regional Airport had no clue what it was, according to the Evansville Courier. Nor did Scott Air Force Base in western Illinois, as they had nothing in the area. Fort Campbell in Kentucky was asked as well, but they wouldn't respond. Let's face it, they're probably overwhelmed by all the UFO inquiries they get. Normally to get information on a local UFO incident, I'd go to the Mutual UFO Network, or MUFON, that private UFO investigation group. But Indiana's MUFON chapter is not looking very active right now, judging from their website. Looks like it was last updated a very long time ago. Sad. So, I looked at MUFON's national page, and though they report recent sightings from lots of states in January and early February, none of them are from Indiana. Because, yeah, it's Indiana. Who cares, right? Oh, I tease the Hoosiers. But seriously, it's Indiana. So, without MUFON, we need to figure this thing out on our own. Fortunately, the video was posted to the Evansville Police Department's Facebook page. I didn't even know you could get Facebook in Indiana. But, evidently, not only can you, but the Evansville Police Department has a Facebook page. So, they posted the UFO video along with this snarky comment. Our officers may have found something from out of this world tonight. Don't worry, though. We will be keeping an eye out for little green creatures tonight. Yeah, because you can't just say, hey, what do you all think it was? Because serious questions like that would lend credence to edgy YouTube channels like mine. Despite the snarkiness, there is no shortage of theories in the comments under the post as to what these mysterious lights might be. One possibility is what the officer himself suggested. Drones. Certainly drones could be floating out there near the Ohio River and lights aren't exactly new technology. But all lined up like that? Still others suggested it was none other than Elon Musk. I mean, not literally Elon Musk. Elon Musk doesn't exactly float and blink. Well, yet. But his Starlink satellites do float and blink, and Elon Musk has been sending up thousands of these little guys lately in low Earth orbit, and this does resemble them. Lots of theories. But how about the edgy theories? Could this be aliens? Generally, while I enjoy these videos, I don't get too excited about the alien hypothesis unless the video shows something that is impossible by current technology. And again, though it's not normal to see a string of lights floating in the sky all lined up, especially in Evansville, it's not exactly beyond our capabilities. 
Now, that certainly doesn't mean aliens aren't capable of doing mundane things. It just means, before you jump to that conclusion, sometimes you have to rule out the normal ones first. So, until we have more info, I'm going with Starlink. And trust me, if aliens do check out Evansville, Indiana, it won't take long before they move on. So, what do you all think? Is this Starlink? Drones? Military helicopters? Maybe you prefer the extraterrestrial hypothesis. Leave your thoughts down below. Just be sure to keep them civil and keep them edgy. And that's our video for today. I'm Jay Jordan Hawk. See you next time on The Edge. And if you like edgy content, check out my award-winning young adult novels, Puka is the Outcast, A Scout is Brave, and Unwatchigi the Dreamer.